This is FBI Breaking News. There is a challenge coming to the Pretoria High Court on the 31st of July. And this challenge is a big one. It's called the trial of the plant. So Doctors for Life is launching a opposition or a challenge against the legalization of DACA and you're worried and concerned about the implications of legalization in South Africa. Uh, is DACA ad addictive? Because there's a lot of talk we've seen during these cases uh, that we've mentioned about the, the benefits of using DACA for a whole host of reasons, but is it addictive? It is addictive and it's been qualified as addictive by various bodies. Firstly, the DSM-4, which is, and five, which is used by psychiatrists and psychologists across the world as a basic manual to diagnose mental conditions. They have classified it as an addictive substance. Secondly, the, the WHO has laid down specific guidelines uh, to, to be present when you withdraw Kaidaha which is proof of its addictiveness. There, there should be two mental side effects that develop and one physical side effect. Physical side effects are things like shivering and uh, sweating and palpitations and things like that. And if according to the WHO, you withdraw cannabis and the, the person would develop those side effects, then he is busy withdrawing. And then there are all kinds of other reasons through which we can see that it is addictive. So it's, it's been shown through various studies to have a very robust withdrawal um, symptomatology in it.